so in this lecture uh, i'll discuss about this built in self test built in self test is a type of technique in which circuits are allowed to perform testing operation on themselves instead of going for any other separate circuit that means testing is done within the ic instead of going in sub in ate in ate in the beginning we discussed about ate and the bist in ate we use a separate circuit to analyze the testing so separate circuit is there to generate a test pass test pattern and it will test the circuit here it is something different here circuits are allowed to perform testing <coughs> operation themselves instead of going into separate circuit so the actual operation and testing can be done with the same hardware that's the advantage here what is the disadvantage bist is the bist in bist it is add more area to the chip that means uh, the chip area is getting increased why because we are adding some uh, additional circuit to the system so definitely the chip area will increase but the advantage is it reduces the time for setting that means cost involved in the testing can be reduced that is chip area increases but external hardware circuit we can eliminate so cost is reduced so the cost is reduced in terms of it also time also we can that means the calculation time then the testing time all those things we can reduce so best under best we have two main areas one is prsd and another one is signature analysis prsd means pseudo random sequence generator pseudo random sequence generator prsd means pseudo random sequence generator and another one is uh, signature analysis so what is prsd <coughs> it is a pseudo random sequence generator which generate a random uh, random sequences are the test switches to produce input signal for combination circuit we use prsd a signature analysis um, is normally used to observe the output signal so prsd is the testing which we done in Uh, testing which we done in this bist is prsd and prsd can be classified into two lfsr <coughs> and cfsr lfsr is linear shift feedback shift register and cfsr is <coughs> complete feedback shift register these are the two registers tgp <coughs> see this is the general outline tgp means test generation test pattern generation tp test pattern generation and ct circuit under test and this is response analysis so this test pattern generator generate that uh, test test factors or test variables and it will be tested with the circuit within the circuit the circuits are under test with this pattern and it is the result is analyzed with the ri response result analysis response okay built in self test that is lfsr so prsd is classified into two lfsr and cfsr lfsr uh, means uh, linear feedback shift register that means there is a feedback from output to input through a through an xor gate okay so consider three flip flop f flip flop 1 2 3 this is q0 output to 1 q0 for first flip flop q1 for output to 1 output to flop 1 q2 for this third flip flop see this is initially this is always we take it as one so uh, feedback through xor gate the polynomial f of x uh, first we need to write the characteristic polynomial of this circuit and it is one plus that means here normally we connect it to one always we assume that here one is connected so one plus this is uh, degree one polynomial time x raised to one time this is x raised to two time this is x raised to three third time so connections are taken from x raised to four, one time and x raised to three so the equation is one plus x plus x three x raised to three or x cube plus x plus one this is the characteristic polynomial okay so suppose instead of here if we take connection from here if we take the connection from here then we can write it as one plus Uh, x2 plus x x square plus x cube like that okay so that's this is the polynomial characteristic equation now we need to check the 
different conditions. Suppose if there is an n bit for LFSR, n bit LFSR, uh, the cycle um, LFSR will cycle through two raised to n states before repeating to the sequence. Okay, LFSR will cycle through two raised to n state before repeating into the sequence. Initially, we feed all this flip flop as uh, other than zero. Okay, we keep the values in, the, in this flip flop other than zero. We never keep zero, zero, zero here in the initial condition. Initial condition of flip flop is called a seed value, and seed value should be never be zero, zero, zero. Okay. So, this is for the clock, and this is the corresponding flip flop output. For step zero, I am keeping one, one, one. For step 0, I am keeping here it is 1, here it is 1, here it is 1. So 1, 1, 1. For step 0, here it is 1, 1, 1. Okay. So by giving first clock, what happens is, see, first clock, after giving one clock, a bit from here will be shifted to here, a bit from here shifted to here, a bit from here shifted to here, and it is coming here like that. In one 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 condition, what will happen? This line is one, this line is one, one one. Output of XOR is what? Zero only. Okay, and that zero came here. Okay. So initial condition is one one one. So here one one. Output of flip is zero. So here zero, here one 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 like that. After giving a clock, after giving the first clock, what will happen? Here it is zero. No, that zero will shift it to here. And here a previous case here it is 1 and that one shifted here. Previously here it is 1, that one shifted to here. That means 1, 1, 0. So after giving first flip up, it is first clock, it is 1, 1, 0. Clear? So what is the thing? This is Q2, this is Q1, this is Q0. So Q0 is the initial. This is a Q0, Q0, Q1, Q2. Now 0 here, 1, 1 here. Again 1, this is 1, this is 1, this is 0. So 0 came here, 1 came here. So output will be 1. So that 1 will be here. After giving another clock, this 1 will be here, this 0 will be here, and this 1 will be here. So the next will be 1, 0, 1. So what you have to do is, you are exploring this Q2 and Q4, Q0 and this, and then shifting like that. So after this is second clock, this is the output 101. One. For third clock, what will happen? Third clock, this will this this will XOR and output will be here. One XOR one zero only. Sorry, uh, this uh, this is actually shifted and one XOR one zero here. Why? Because Q zero Q zero is the XOR output of this two will be Q zero only. So one XOR one Q zero will be here and this two will be shifted here. Again zero XOR zero zero only. And this two time will be shifted here. This actually taken from here only. You can apply values to here, these inputs to here, and you can easily find out that. So fifth flip flop zero zero one. So fifth clock it is zero zero one here, zero zero one. So one will be here, zero will be here, one next zero zero one. So one will be here, zero will be here, zero will be here, one will be here. After giving clock, this one will be shifted to here. This 0 will be shifted here, here 1 will be shifted here, like that. So 0, 0, 1 means next clock 0, 1, 1, 1. After the next clock, you will get 1, 1, 1. Like that, you will get the complete sequence. So this is about uh, LFSR. So listen here, uh, here we have 7 states. After 6 states, it is repeating again, it is starting the initial stage 1, 1, 1. So enter this stages, 0 will never come, okay. If 0 comes, that is an unused state like that. So in the, in the entire process, we don't find any zeros here. After 6th clock, 7th clock reaches, what happens is it will repeat it to the initial stage. So this is the case. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, like that, it is repeating. Okay. This is the test pattern. Gener generated inside the circuit or inside the chip in LFSR. In, uh, what is CFSR? Complete uh, Feedback Shift Register. What is it? Uh, test vectors that include zero, 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 include 0 here. In the previous case, uh, seed value should, be, should never be 0, 0, 0 like that we took a condition in LFSR. But in practical cases, we, ha we have come across 0, 0, 0 condition. No, anyhow. So we need to take care of that. 
So for that we introduce another concept that is CFSR. In this is acute for CFSR, and CFSR uh, initial value, seed value can be zero 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 also. Under that condition also the circuit will perform, uh, or circuit will generate the test voltage or pattern. Test to pattern it will automatically generate. So this is the circuit here. Three flip flops are here. And uh, the thing is, the difference from the LFSR is we extra add a bubbled AND gate here and it is connected to no OR gate, XOR gate, and output is given as it is in the previous. This is the case for uh, CFSR. Now, signature analyzer, this is the second part of BISTIL, built in self test, that is sign signature analyzer. Here, see LFSR is given, for example, I am taking pattern generation on LFSR. Uh, this is the output of combination logic circuit the, or circuit under test is the input output is we call it as syndrome and it is a function of previous output okay it is a function so listen here um, in LFSR see this syndrome is nothing but function of previous output so initially you give a test pattern here uh, you will get an output okay and the output will be stored here and that output is fed back to here now the output and uh, test button or the input from the circuit under test both are compared and it is again stored here and again it is fed back like that so this syndrome is a function of previous output so each output will be a function of previous output that is what is called a syndrome so the final after reaching the final stage we will get an output now and that output will be a function of all the previous outputs that is the syndrome and that that is actually a single bit stream and it is called a signature okay now consider a fault free suppose the circuit which we connected which we connected to here it is a fault free circuit so definitely we will get an output and it is feedback again one by one bit stream it is compared and you will get a syndrome see as it is the case that the, the circuit is a fault free so the output we get it we got it is a good we call it as good syndrome if there is no fault means we got a good syndrome okay this is our expected output expected syndrome now if compare this this is the faulty circuit we connected and you will get an output something here and we compare these two this syndrome and good syndrome if there is a difference we can call it as the circuit which is connected here it is a faulty circuit okay if both the syndromes are correct or match equal then what we can call the circuit which is connected here it is a clear circuit there is a fault free circuit the circuit it is a fault free if there is a difference in syndrome and good syndrome that means definitely a faulty circuit will be connected here so this is the idea so through this way so the advantage of this thing, thing is that the syndrome here we here each test pattern we don't need to keep save the details okay for 101 each and every number of uh, patterns will be there now for each pattern we need to check in conventional case what we are doing each test pattern we are taking and we process it and finally we take the output and our, that output is compared with the expected output okay if both are equal then we call it as a fault free like that so here number of inputs are coming similarly number of outputs we need to keep in the memory so it is a wastage of memory uh, means we need to connect extra memory to the system it's a cost it will increase the cost and it is a waste of memory only you know in this thing what is the difference a single bit stream is enough for testing all the bit patterns which you generated inside a single bit stream why because this is a syndrome and the output is a function of all the previous outputs so a single bit stream bit stream itself is enough for n number of uh, test vector input patterns that's the difference here